Employers are struggling to find workers. The question is, why? You came here for the truth, so let me unveil that for you. Today we are going to get into exactly why this is the case and what you need to look at as an investor. Let's begin. Okay, so first I want to talk about what's happening specifically with the jobs numbers. And can you believe it? The unemployment rate as measured by the U3 has actually gone and increased just a little bit. And then we're going to talk about how this really affects you as the individual. So let's get into it. April's expected hiring boom goes bust as non-farm payroll gains falls well short of estimates. So this information here is really key because the stock market, the algorithms look towards this information. Hiring was down a huge, was a huge letdown in April with non-farm payrolls increasing by a much less Less than expected 266,000. The unemployment rate rose to 6.1%. And of course, they were thinking a million new jobs, and the unemployment rate actually down to 5.8%. That didn't happen at all. And then we look a little deeper. Take a look at this article out of the AP. I'm going to bring you Bloomberg as well as Reuters. They all have pieces that I need to cover here. The recovery of America's job market hit a pause last month as many businesses, restaurants, hotels, factories, construction companies struggle to find enough workers to catch up with a rapidly strengthening economic rebound. At least that's what they're saying. They go into more details here. Understand that they are unable to find workers at the same time you have a lot of people out of the workforce. There's a real big disconnect there and there are some suggestions as to why that is actually the case. Right here, some businesses, this is at the bottom, some businesses say that they believe a $300 a week jobless benefit paid for by the federal government is discouraging some of the unemployed to get back to work. I want to know what you think. If you're going to pay people to stay home, does that encourage them to do so? Or is that just a temporary bridge until they can get back to work? That's the question I have for you. I'm not going to put my spin on it. I want you to be the one to decide that. But that's what they're saying here. And I'll show you uh, in a moment um, another group that's saying the exact same thing. Here's a chart that corresponds to that information. Smaller workforce percentage of working Americans still below where we were at beginning of 2020. You can see the U.S. employment population ratio, and it is right now 57.8%. It's important to note this because you're seeing the unemployment rate at 6.1%, and then at the same time, there are significantly less people in the actual workforce. Something here is disconnected, and we know even Jerome Powell himself admitted to the fact that the statistics are wrong. The Labor Department themselves admitted that what they do in order to calculate all this is incorrect. This all came out. I covered it here on the channel. I explained it to you, showing you the quotes directly from the BLS. And of course, none of that really matters because the mainstream media continues to repeat those fraudulent numbers. Now, this is just giving you an and some insight as to what's happening here, but we're going to look a level deeper. That brings me to this. With 8 million Americans out of work, why are more companies not filling jobs? We go further in and then give some explanations based on this report, and I'll cover some more from wire points in just a second. Parents, particularly mothers, cannot work because closures or shortened hours at school and daycare keep them home to watch their kids. Of course, you may know about this. You know people or in your own situation that basically they have to be there as a daycare to their own children. They can't bring them to the school. They can't do that. So somebody has to stay home. Would-be workers remain concerned about the health risks? Stock market gains have given some 
older workers the cushion to retire so some people hey my 401k is at this level here i don't think i need to go back to work if it's going to increase 20 percent year over year i can get off no problem at least what that's what they're thinking some younger workers are finding jobs in new fields shrinking the labor pool for the industries that they left behind maybe they're not going to go back to mcdonald's anymore because they found work somewhere else many employers need to fill jobs requiring skills that sideline workers may not have so these are just some of the aspects and i think it's important to understand over this period this year or so how much has really changed with the whole economic front when you look at it the jobs aspect in line with that i think this is really important to see it on multiple levels and not just see the u3 stats not just see what they're telling you in the mainstream media of course but looking at it a little bit more granularly Okay, so check this article out from WirePoints. The National Federation of Independent Business found in a March survey of its own small business members that 42% had job openings that they couldn't fill. That to me, that's huge. 42% of them had this situation. It's not as if you're talking about you know, one or two companies. This is, seems like it's a widespread issue. Factories are desperate for workers. I've never seen it this bad. You look in here, Chicago, crime is often blamed for the unemployment. Summer jobs are going unfilled for lack of applicants. And it just goes on and on and on. As many as 2.1 million manufacturing jobs will be, as they say right here, will be unfilled through 2030. That's apparently according to a study. It all depends on what happens between now and then. But I think it is important to see the actions that have been taken so far and where that has led us right now. And before I get into the Money GPS insights, I wanted to show you this. It's going to lead us right in. U.S. Chamber calls for ending $300 weekly supplemental unemployment benefits to address labor shortages. The disappointing jobs report makes it clear that paying people not to work is dampening what should be a stronger jobs market. We need a comprehensive approach to dealing with our workforce issues and the very real threat unfilled positions poses to our economic recovery and they continue on again i'm leaving that up to you to decide but we know for sure that this government stimulus has one very important impact on people in, in that are not even necessarily directly affected by it but indirectly it's going to hit them in their wallet let's talk about why Okay, so now let's talk about the Money GPS insights for this episode. We have to understand number one, number one, employers are struggling to find workers. That's clear, that's obvious, at least based on the surveys, based on the information that we have here. I'm going to show you one in one minute, actually, some more in depth analysis based on that. But I think it's important to note this and why is this actually happening? Number two, you can see some people, specifically some businesses, are suggesting that the unemployment benefits paying people right now are actually in disincentivizing them to be working. If they're going to get paid more, if in fact they are getting paid more by the unemployment benefits, there really is no reason to go back to work. At least that's what they're suggesting. And then we have number three. It's clear to see that this right here is always going to create more stimulus from the government. The government's going to have to do MMT. They're going to have to do helicopter money, and that means more inflation. So as an investor, you should be aware of that. I'm not talking about quantitative easing, the money velocity. I'm talking about money being dropped from the skies, and of course, that is is in fact inflationary so as an investor keep your eyes peeled on that which is a hedge against inflation okay so take a look at this article and it's showing you mcdonald's but there are so many others that they talk about in this wall street journal article restaurants serve up signing bonuses higher pay to win back workers 
This is, uh, you know, if you read the description on the wall there, basically, join our family, now hiring managers and crew, $3,000 per year, tuition assistance, free meals and uniforms, paid time away for managers, tuition assistance, so on and so on. This article gives more depth, more detail, but I'm just giving you an idea of what's been happening here. They're trying to incentivize these people, come back to work, we're going to pay you. I think in one example, they had $500 sign-on bonus. I mean, these are real companies before that never struggled to have people in them. But hey, if you're unemployed, if the government's going to pay you basically the same or perhaps even more, I could see why some people are simply just saying, I'm going to wait it out for something better. If that comes around, then maybe I'll go to work. What I do know from history, and there are basically no exceptions, is that the government always, always, always gets bigger. And that's really the goal over the time where you see a period of time passing, government has to take on what's left from the previous you know, let's say the failures and the previous problems that were in existence, government starts to step in and say, okay, we are going to now perform that task. We are now going to take care of this failing industry. And as they do this, of course, they occupy more tax dollars. I've been covering this a lot recently, but wanted to mention it here again. Grocers, restaurants to suppliers. Hurry up, make more. Walmart, Cisco, and other implement penalties uh, for late others implement penalties for late or incomplete orders, adding pressure to food makers, dealing with labor and ingredient shortages. It's going on all over the place. We can point to lumber, but that's only one aspect of this. Copper soared to an all-time high again, again, and again. All right, I told you don't don't buy seven shares of amazon look how it's performed over the last year compared to those seven two by fours you stick them under the mattress you're gonna be good you're gonna live free i'm telling you right now copper surges you can see the chart more closely and then you have this basically same information wall street journal covers it well well in depth you know i, I was gonna actually get into all the details i don't have time quite frankly let's just talk about what this means for you as an investor Again, I'm wondering if bonds are selling off a little as it just reinforces Jerome Powell's wanting to be patient. But if you're like me, you're waiting for the Fed to taper. I think the Fed is going to start talking about it in September. And that means the market is going to talk about it in the summer. So we've got to be aware of this. And I think, I don't think the market is ready for this at all. I think they're going to be spooked by it. And just the suggestion, just the talk of a taper is going to freak them out. If you're a viewer of this channel, I want you to know that you are probably not subscribed. Even if you think you're subscribed, this platform likes to unsubscribe people. Let me tell you, I have heard from hundreds of people over the years that have told me that. So what did I do? Finally, I set up the insiders yet again. The insiders is an email that you will get every day, five days a week, actually, uh, for now. And that'll change later. I'm going to actually put content into it. But for right now, you get the email directly to your inbox. So you sign up with me i will send you the actual video of the day and that's what you're gonna get right directly to you so that we can sidestep it if they want to take me down you got it directly to you no matter what platform i'm on so this is a way that we can skirt around all that i finally stopped procrastinating and i mention this every single day it's so key if you found the video informative thumbs up thumbs up thumbs up i really appreciate it if you want my books the two of them will literally give you what you need in terms of the financial system so important and last but not least click that video if you haven't seen it already click that video and i'll see you there